Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. To open today's webinar, the Australian dollar is still holding to a bearish sentiment. With the market breaking down, looks immediately towards a support of 75, 70, 75 and a break there exposes further weakness towards the support seen around about 75.05.15. Any advances on the intraday view still looks a cap around 76.70, sorry, 76.60.75. The Euro conservative price action overnight very much holds to a consolidation pattern and why are we seeing this view is because the market is oversold and the trend is overheating. I feel the market now towards a 108.25.40 area may find short-term demand and could see an impulse back up towards 109.35 to 109.70.75. However, we should still not discount a further move down eventually towards 107.40.70. The dollar index also is a little bit overbought. So with the oversold to, uh, indicators in the euro and the overbought indicators in dollar index could actually see the market respect the level of 108 25 40 and show a mild impulse to the upside but unlikely to get much beyond 109 70 75 and eventually see further weakness dolly yen now challenging this level of 104 30 and looks to me that we could actually break beyond there but caution should be seen because as you can see Previously, the challenge beyond this 104.30 failed after the market peaked around 104.60 and then collapsed back towards the 103 region. I'm a little bit cautious of the bullish uh, call due to the fact is that the market has struggled beyond 104.30. Nevertheless, demand is still holding here, as you can see here over the last couple of hours and expect to see a challenge to the upside and could see short covering up towards 105.10 with the objective holding towards 105.85.90. In light of the 102.70 support holding, beneath here would negate any bullish threat and instead put a 101.05.30 objective in place. But this looks unlikely at this stage. Sterling, looking to a shorter term time frame, moves in a conservative sideways pattern and consolidates within the band of 121.70 to 122.60. However, I still feel weakness will eventually emerge and challenge that level of 121.70 and lower towards 121.20.40, which could find short-term demand. In light of the broader term pattern, however, I'm still looking towards 118 figure 50 as an objective. The gold picture is still very much concerning due to the fact that the market did briefly stab towards the downside overnight at that 60 level after rejecting the 1270 one area. In light of the current weakness, the call towards 1276 to 82 is starting to wane and we could actually see this pattern turn into a bearish scenario and expect uh, from a break of 1260 and see a fall towards 1240. So the bullish call from the break of 1268 is now starting to fade quickly and we could see a move through 60 and then down to 40 and reassess from that 40 region. And to wrap up with oil, once again, the weakness found support at 4940, 60 area after a brief stab there overnight. You can see here. In light of the current pattern, I still feel that the market should weaken, especially with the uh, confirmation from the histogram, the MACD, and also the stochastic breaking down, should see further pressure on that 49.40 area, which if breached, will open way towards $46 a barrel and reassess from there. In light of the current resistance holding well, I still expect to see 52.20 cap. Thank you very much for joining me today. That brings a wrap to my uh, daily webinar, and I hope you have a great day ahead.